Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now as you can see the phone in front of me is locked and uh, to unlock it we will need a couple things. So number one it's going to be a cable. Uh, this is the one that comes with the device, it's a Type-C to Type-C as you can see. Uh, and another thing that you will need is either another phone, uh, it can be either a Samsung, if it's a Samsung then you don't need to download anything. I have a Ultra right here. Uh, so I'll use this phone, but you can use any kind of other device as long as it, for instance, has a Type-C port, which probably will be easier uh, with, the, with this cable. And uh, if you're using any other device, um, you will need to download the Galaxy app. So it's a uh, smart switch, which I'm opening it right here. As you can see, this is the app that you will need. Simply download it, install it, and open it up on your phone that is, well, unlocked. And from there, let's um, well, let's begin. So here you can see that I'm already at this stage where we need to verify the account. Now you want to get here, so you will also need to connect to your uh, internet. And once you do, simply tap on a field and then tap on these three dots. Go to YouTube. Let's skip this. Tap on it again. Continue. And once it loads video, tap on the arrow to open the video up can close the video immediately, uh, it's not really important what the video is. Uh, from YouTube you want to tap on the account icon and go to help and feedback. And then to describe your issue you want to type in get and it will pop up with the suggested get started with voice access. Select that and then you want to select change Google app settings. Then scroll down to location and then Google App Location Settings, tap on that. Delete your location settings or history and then tap on Location History and this will open up Google Maps. As you can see, it allows us to either sign in or skip it. So we're going to choose Skip, it reopens it and then you want to tap on Back. And this will now have, well, keep the Google Maps open. So from here, choose Go, tap on OK to allow the access and then and the search bar or for a destination, type in any kind of place. It can be a restaurant, anything. It doesn't really matter where it, where it is. So as you can see, I'm just gonna select one somewhere in Norway, whatever it is, Sweden. So like I said, it doesn't really matter where it goes. Um, from here, tap on start and it will give you route. But once it does, it also... But once you do, you can see that there is a microphone option. So what you want to do is tap on the microphone and then say open settings. So I'm going to do that right now. Open settings. And as you can see we're now in settings. So from here scroll down to accounts and backup and then choose smart switch and download. Now this will now be downloading in the background so give it a moment. Once it's finished it's just going to simply open it up. And while that is well going around, what you want to do is get your cable, untangle it, and simply plug it into your other device. As you can see, I'm going to move it to the side now. And simply have it plugged in uh, if you're using Samsung. I believe if you're using anything else than Samsung, you will need to uh, open that up uh, for this process but because this is Samsung, I don't need to. It will automatically detect it. And also, as you can see on here, let's stop on I agree, uh, because it's done downloading, allow, and then from here, select. Actually, move it back into view. So from here, you wanna select uh, to receive data from Galaxy or Android and via cable. There we go. And simply move it to the side. Unlock the other device if it's locked, like mine has right now, and simply plug it in. As you can see now, they're both plugged in. I could actually like, move it in a way that this could look good. That would be nice, but apparently I don't have space here. So as you can see, this is uh, a little bit challenging here, uh, but let's stop on allow. And it pops up with here uh, to allow. So let's choose that. And from here, 
let's uh, give it a second as you can see it starts loading and basically it gives us uh, anything that we want to transfer from uh, this device so let's grab the phone actually get the cable so it's not hooked somewhere so you can see there's multiple uh, apps selected or different categories now what you want to do is deselect all of them at the moment and select only settings and home and from here scroll down let's unlock the device right here so from here tap on transfer and this will begin let's choose here copy this is for the account and basically this will substitute the account that was blocking us here so what you want to do right now is log in with the google account that is logged into this device so the one that is unlocked and it should well, pro probably have your own account so you want to simply log into it on this device that is locked here so i'm going to put in a password for that and then sign in and this will overwrite the um, account that was blocking us before i'm gonna place it down here so as you can see it starts copying it now this is a fairly quick process uh, it's only taking like a minute or so assuming you have unselected basically everything apart from the settings and home screen and there we go as you can see now it's done so close here and we can unplug it this phone is not needed anymore so i'm gonna just drop it to the side and then unplug this one as well So from here, there we go. So from here, uh, we're gonna tap on go home. And what you wanna do is just simply go all the way back. Tap next. And as you can see now it's changed from verify to account added and provides us with the account that was, uh, the account that was on this device. So let's tap on next and don't copy again next this appears again um, disregarded I just a, I guess a glitch and let's go more more accept what you want to do right now is simply get through the setup process as quick as possible it doesn't really matter what you select here we still need to reset the device anyway And as you can see, finish up, and this will go to home screen. And from here, we need to open up settings. Scroll down to general management, reset, factory data reset, and choose to reset. As you can see, the message gives us uh, information that will remove the account that we have uh, imported from the old device, uh, but it also will remove the account that was blocking us, which isn't shown over here. So let's stop on reset, delete delete all and the process will now begin now this will take about five minutes and once it's finished we'll be then back in the setup screen so i'll be back once the reset has finished And as you can see now the process is finished, so let's go to the setup process. Now once more I'm going to skip majority of the setup just to save on time, but at this point you can set it up as however you like. You can add Wi-Fi, set up black screens and all that stuff. But as you can see I will skip Wi-Fi which normally wouldn't be accessible if the device would be still locked. So obviously it's not. And we're almost done. And there we go. So that is how you would bypass the Google verification on the Note 20. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.